There are numerous benefits to growing up bilingual or multilingual, supported by scientific research. However, like any aspect of life, there are also some downsides to consider when it comes to being raised with different languages. In the next segment, I will discuss some of these potential drawbacks. Stay tuned. One major drawback applicable only to families using the OPOL method with multiple languages spoken at home is the issue of a family language. Many multilingual parents ponder how to handle the OPOL method when the entire family is together, for example, at the dinner table. Since the effectiveness of the method relies on consistent language use, it means that each parent must stick to their respective language even when the whole family is present. This often leads to one partner not understanding the conversations if they are unable to speak the other partner's language. In such cases, multilingual parents must make a decision. Do they want everybody to be able to communicate in the same language at the dinner table? If so, it puts the development of the minority language or languages spoken by the children at risk. Yes, if parents aim to maximize the likelihood of their children becoming active multilinguals, meaning that they also speak a language, not only understand it, then in my opinion it is necessary to stick to each parent's language even when the family is together, renouncing, unfortunately, to the idea of having a family language at least for the first decade. Therefore, one significant downside in my view is that in order to maximize exposure to the minority languages and establish a strong connection with our children in those languages, it is unfortunately necessary to forego having a family bond in just one language. This is a drawback because it would be more convenient, I suppose, and possibly better for good communication within the family to have a common language that everybody understands and uses proficiently. However, I have never experienced this myself, as my parents strictly follow the Opole method with me and my brother with my brother and me. <laughs> my mother learned over time to understand and use my father's language and although she sometimes couldn't follow or participate in conversations when we spoke in Swiss German, mostly when we were teenagers, using this strategy was definitely worth it, which is why I now employ it with my own family. Nevertheless, I do recognize it as a downside of growing up with multiple languages at home. How do you see it? Let me know in the comments. Another drawback of growing up in a multilingual and international multicultural family is the distance that often separates family members and friends due to this diversity. It can be quite disheartening for multilingual children to grow up far away from their grandparents, aunts, uncles and cousins. In today's world, technology allows for some level of communication and if circumstances permit it, uh, families can still visit their loved ones occasionally. However, this often means that vacations are consistently dedicated to family visits. Well, I would love to travel to Bali or the Fiji Islands. When I consider what is truly important to us, we often end up going to Denmark or Ecuador or somewhere in between where we can reunite with our family. Despite our efforts to stay connected, I personally perceive this as a significant drawback because many precious moments and experiences are simply not possible. Another aspect that I find challenging about growing up bilingual or multilingual is the time it takes to fully develop a language. As a result, children are often perceived as less capable by schools, individuals and in general society. There's a risk that society fails to recognize or acknowledge their true potential. This is particularly evident when children haven't fully mastered the language of instruction by the time they are assessed or required to pass certain tests for admissions to the next academic levels. 
And so to address this concern, I always advise parents to ensure that their children have regular exposure to the, their language or languages they will be schooled in starting no later at the age of three. This allows for a smoother transition and maximizes the benefits of the critical early years for language learning. The goal is to enable children to use languages as tools for learning and developing rather than allowing language proficiency to become a significant barrier that hinders the development of their full potential. Does that make sense? Let me know your thoughts in the comments. At this point, let me put it all a bit into perspective. I think that the advantages of growing up with various languages completely outweigh the downsides, but this video is about the few drawbacks that I see. If you see more, please share them with us in the comments. The next drawback that I see only applies to children attending a bilingual or multilingual school. While the majority of the children greatly benefit from an immersive school, multilingual school environment, there are still a few who struggle with the added complexity. When a child consistently feels overwhelmed and their requirements do not align with their needs and abilities, it can have negative impacts on their overall development. Most of all, the development of a strong self-esteem, a strong self-esteem. But this applies to only a small number of children, typically those who are also um, grappling with additional social, emotional, or intellectual challenges. The added complexity can quickly become overwhelming for them. That is why it is crucial not only to set high aspirations for children, but also to remain open and flexible enough to adjust course if the child is experiencing distress or struggling too much. The well-being of a child should be prioritized, which means ensuring that the expectations align with the child's abilities and needs is crucial. Another challenge, I wouldn't call it drawback, but it's definitely a challenge um, of growing up multilingual is the perpetual need to maintain and continue developing language skills. While the ability to navigate diverse cultures through language acquisition offers numerous advantages, it comes with a continuous demand. It entails a lifelong commitment requiring consistent effort and dedication to using and nurturing the language. It is a journey that never truly ends. Please consider subscribing to this channel where I provide valuable insights, tips, and know-how on raising multilingual children if you're seeking guidance on navigating the challenges of language mixing. Be sure to check out our upcoming video. Keep on doing a great job and talk to you soon.